how many woodstocks does it take to lift Snoopy? That is the question that Seesaw tries to answer. This is an episode in the Peanuts Charlie Brown web series, and this one's very short. I don't know if it's shorter than usual, but it definitely felt shorter. And as such, I don't have a tremendous amount to say. But I do have a few thoughts, one a point of praise, one something that I don't think looked as good as it could have done, but in general, I do like it. And the point of me talking about this very briefly is to just say, yes, I liked it. Go and check it out if you're not aware of it. Usually with the web series episodes, I have a little bit more of an in-depth thought, but with this one, because it is very straightforward, there really isn't too much to say. The animation color palette is stunning. We have a lot of beautiful, bright colors, and the main focus is this bright red seesaw. And we have Snoopy on the left-hand side, and of course, Snoopy is down on the ground level, and Woodstock comes along and tries to sit on the other seat to make it seesaw. And I've just realized it's called seesaw, and I didn't know, I thought teeter-totter was the only word for seesaws in the States. So that's very interesting. I've only just picked up on that. Let me know if you're in the States, do you ever call a teeter-totter a seesaw? Or is a teeter-totter only... That sounds so weird coming out of my mouth. Is that only a word that I know from American TV shows? Do you actually call it seesaws? I don't know. I'm overthinking this. But that's just occurred to me. And Woodstock comes along and tries to sit on the opposite end. But obviously, Woodstock is much lighter. So then along come a couple more Woodstocks and... They try and lift Snoopy and it's just not working. They're not heavy enough and we don't get an answer. We don't get to find out how many woodstocks it takes, which is a shame. I think they could have brought in a lot more and made it a little bit more interesting. And they could have brought in a whole bucket full of woodstocks and flung Snoopy into the air. I think they could have done more with the ending of this. And I think that would have made it a little bit more interesting. The only other point of criticism I have is that for a lot of the cartoon, not not all of it, it shifts about halfway through, but for the first kind of 20 or 30 seconds, it's very left-hand sided. We have a lot of weight on the left-hand side of the screen and it just feels, it feels badly cropped. Now I watched this on the official Snoopy YouTube channel. So I, I did for a second, I didn't realize where I was watching and I genuinely thought, has somebody else uploaded this and cropped it to try and avoid copyright detection? But actually, it, it's uploaded to the official Snoopy channel. So I don't love the cropping for about half of it, but then it does shift a little bit. So that is also something that I don't think was perfect. But nevertheless, it's fun. I enjoyed it. It's brightly colored. It's a good idea. Could have been better, but nevertheless, I liked it. If you haven't seen it, and you're a fan of Peanuts or Charlie Brown or indeed Snoopy, then definitely check out Seesaw.